Hello darlings, I am Cassandra. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for coming. For those of you who are new to my channel, child, let me introduce you to the Jungle Beauty Goddesses. The life-size fabric sculpture dolls you see sitting behind me. I created these dolls myself and as I was sewing them, they would not stop talking to me. And this led to my Jungle Beauty Goddess book series. And so far, I have book one, two, and three. The Jungle Beauty Goddess book series is a juicy, sensuous, provocative story, love story about human evolution. If you are interested in purchasing the Jungle Beauty Goddess book series, it is located in the link below. In today's video, I am going to give you an update on my Buddha bracelet. I purchased a Buddha bracelet, I think it was back in January or so, and I have a video online. I've been receiving a lot of comments about people wanting to know, oh my God, have you received a million dollars dropping from the sky? Tell me, tell me darling, what has happened to you um, since you purchased it? And there's been a lot of jokes and a lot of comments. I'm not going to have my video demonetized trying to say what I want to say, but I'm going to say what needs to be said. So first of all, I know a lot of people say this is a scam. This is you know, um, this is a scam, this is a sham, how could you fall for this? You know, why would you make a video about a bracelet that is supposed to bring somebody good luck? So, this is going to be a long video, maybe. I'm just going to say what I have to say. If it's in five minutes, it'll be a five minute video. If it's in 50 minutes, it'll be a 50 minute video. But I'm going to speak my piece and I'm going to leave the comments section on. So first off, I want you to think about there are the statue issues. You know how around the world people are tearing down statues. People wear certain symbols around their neck, certain religious symbols, right? People, there are also symbols that represent things that are not so positive, and when people see them, they have a certain reaction. So, if you don't think that objects have energy and carry you know, some type of vibrational frequency that affects your consciousness and affects your life, then I, I really don't have the time to properly educate you. Um, so I'm going to tell you this, that, you know, even when somebody play with a Barbie doll, there's been, there have been so many studies to show that um, because these little girls were playing with these dolls, you know, it's led to you know, if you're playing with something and you think that it's beautiful and you maybe you start looking at your own nose, you start looking at your own body size and maybe you may develop some type of disorder. So what I'm trying to say to you is that things do matter. Now, when it comes to this Buddha bracelet, I will tell you this. There have been a lot of miracles that have happened in my life. I personally, I cannot attribute it to the, the Buddha bracelets. I can't. There are so many factors in my life. There are so many, I would say, you know, first of all, I believe in God of Cassandra. And, it, and I said that correctly. I said God of Cassandra. Um, I believe there's an ultimate power. I also believe there's an angelic realm. There's an ancestral realm. There are so many um, spiritual guides and teachers. There's so many forces in this universe to help us. So I cannot attribute a miracle that has happened in my family, I mean several miracles, to a bracelet. Now let me tell you something about purchasing the bracelet and it's a part of my basic personality. I feel that if you've purchased this bracelet and you have had this idea that you have been playing around with and now you have the courage to actually pursue it. You know what? This, this, you know, let's, first of all, let me just say this. If everybody look at something and think of something positive about it, we're going to give it positive energy and it's going to have a positive effect on people. That's just the truth. It's the energy 
from the believers. Okay, if, if everybody said, okay, this sign or this symbol is going to represent this, when we see this, it's going to vibrate at that frequency. Now, one of the comments I get is a lot of times from people who are just making a lot of jokes. Hey, I could take a good joke. I can give a good joke. But I'll tell you one thing, that if I thought something was evil or demonic, there is just absolutely no way I would be. I don't go on YouTube channels <laughs> where people, you know, so say uh, someone says for evil forces or for Satan. Or for, I don't do it because I'm not interested. So if you're here and you're watching the videos and you're making negative comments, you could have used that time to do something that you really love. You could have written your book. You could have made a YouTube channel. You could have um, been intimate with somebody you really love. You could have done something so much valuable with the limited time you have on this planet. So to me, if you have time to come to a channel and make you know negative comments or discourage other people, I think you need to look at your own life and that time that you need to um, assess, analyze, and look at yourself and see what's wrong with you. I really don't have time to, <laughs> to answer those questions, but you should ask yourself, why am I watching this video about a Buddha verse that I don't believe in when I could be doing something that I do believe in? So uh, my suggestion to you is to find something you do believe in. Now, for the other people who are watching this, I want to say to you, uh, I'm not going to go through the details of the things that have happened in my life because one thing life has taught me in the 50 some years I've been here, okay, is that the people who support you are going to be people that hate you and people that love you. You understand this? If you don't take anything else from this video, child, you need to take this in. The people who love you and the people who hate you are going to be the people who, it's, it's like it's the ebb and flow of life. It's a natural flow. If everybody love you, that's static. If everybody dislike you, that's static. The, the flow, that's a good movement. So you don't put your personal business out there because you don't know who is there to maybe to not send you blessings, to not send you love and light, to block your blessings. So be careful about what you say and about what you share. So I would say that. So I'm not going to go through details, but I would tell you that I've had a very positive experience, but I don't think it's attributed to the Buddha bracelet. I think it's attributed to the fact that whenever I indulge in any type of energy, I am always looking to evolve. So since I've purchased, so let me just give you an example. I, um, you know, as you know, I, I took a GED out of high school, many of you know this, and I have a bachelor's, two masters, and a doctorate degree. And I remember when I was working on my doctorate degree, I was staying in this one apartment and I was having a very difficult time getting through graduate school. So I, you know, of course, you know, this is when I was first introduced to feng shui and a lot of other spiritual type work. And what I learned is that my downstairs bathroom was literally in my education area. So I had, you know, I, there were so many things that I read, like one, People said, you know, you should listen to Baroque music while you study. I listen to only Baroque music, not any classical music, but Baroque, because it's supposed to have stimulate the neurons in your brain um, so that you can take in an, uh, new information and also be receptive to information at a genius level. Okay, so I listen to my Baroque. I read a brain study that said you should only eat salmon, raw spinach, um, strawberries and blueberries and so I ate this salad and my my brain just opened up and I only drank water I look I did a lot of things so can I say well, let me get back to the feng shui so anyway I'm still studying I'm still working and it just seems like I couldn't get things stabilized with my different advisors the chairperson of my committee I read so I read this article about you know looking at education area it's the area that most people never work on and they said you need to get a boulder and it should be something that you can carry with both hands in order for it to be effective so I find this huge boulder and I place it next to the top this toilet so that I could you know suppress the energy of the water in my education area 
sure enough, within six months, I was able to finish my doctorate. It just seems like after that, everything just like, just moved. Now, can I say that my doctorate degree is attributed to the fact that I took a boulder and put it next to the toilet? No, because I still had to study. Okay, I still had to study. I still had to do the work. I still had to show up. I still had to apply myself. You understand? There is nothing in this world that you are going to use, purchase, or buy, I believe, personally, that is going to magically change your life. You change your life on so many levels. There are seven bodies. You have an energetic body. You have an etheric body. There are so many layers to this physical persona of who you are, okay? So when you're working on changing yourself, you're, you're not just going to just, even when you start to work out, do you just get buffed overnight? When you take medicine and you go to the doctor, they just give you one pill? No. Okay? So, I'm going to say this. Everything you do matters. Everything you do. Um, you know, I know that people like to say um, when, you know, slavery was ending, um, there, there, were, there were failed attempts at uh, freedom. And I always like to tell, tell my students, there's never been a failed attempt at anything. If you, let me explain this. There's never been a failed attempt at anything, okay? <laughs> Every person that l tried to attempt, they created an energetic frequency that bu that built up for three, 300 years to end the system that people are still working on. When you take, if you were to take a hammer and you were to hit a big boulder before you could crack it, do you, uh, Every single time you hit that rock, every single time you hit that rock, every hit mattered. Every every time, every one. We can't say, well, well, where's the magic one? Maybe, do you understand what I'm saying? There's no failed anything. It's your energy. So I'm going to tell you this. If you have purchased uh, the Buddha bracelet, um, and you were looking for some money to fall from the sky. I don't know what to tell you, child. Because I don't even believe. I don't. If you, if you purchased it and you're looking to make some positive changes in your own life, for, so for example, I'll give you one thing that I'm, that I'm not. You know, that's not too much. Um, I'm a very shy person. I know that's really hard. Sometimes people think, well, how can you do YouTube? If it, no, I'm extremely shy. And um, I don't want, like, I always feel uncomfortable introducing my books because I feel like, oh, am I begging? Am I pushing people away? Am I selling them something? But, you know, I, you know, for me to introduce my books and myself, that took, it takes so much power from my, and courage for myself, so much work on myself. So what I said to myself is that they're going to put ads on your video that you have no say so that you have nothing to do with to promote things that you don't even know anything about so why are you too shy to even mention what you was close to your heart to me that's a big move for me so what I'm going to tell you is this when you purchase items gemstones oils herbs when you do things to work on yourself on, on various levels of your beingness. You have to do the work so that you are able to benefit from and able to understand what it is you're trying to manifest. You can't go from the caterpillar to the butterfly without the cocoon stage. The cocoon stage is where you develop your, your courage and your inspiration and your strength this is where you learn to carry the weight of your dreams a lot of times I don't know if you've seen it before where people they get something or they hit the lottery and then they have all type of tragic things happen to them because they haven't learned how to tell people no they haven't learned discernment there are so many things that you have to learn so that you can really enjoy and benefit from your accomplishments from the things that come to you in your life so I'm going to say that if you purchased it, purchase your, your um, Buddha Power bracelet and you should really, it may tell you you need more sleep. 
It may tell you know you might get to say no, I'm not saying to brace this, not talk to you. I'm just going to tell you this: you may receive inspiration that says, "Oh, I need to buy this book. I need to try this." Since I've purchased my bracelet, I, you know, I have bought so many wonderful new books. I have really, I can't even tell you some of the metaphysical things that I have that have come into my life that has popped up in my life and I'm going to tell you in, in my personal opinion I feel like the very first thing you should do is protect yourself protect your energy child that's what you that's what you should do you I know you might protect yourself because people there are so many people who you'll be surprised at the people who just don't want you to go where you want to go and get and it's not personal it may just be because who am I going to talk to? Who am I going to watch TV with? Who am I going to gossip with? There, you understand what I'm saying? Protect yourself. Rule number, I would say first and foremost, protect yourself. And then after protecting yourself, I would say look for basic information in terms of like body care. Like do you need to meditate? Do you need to do yoga breaths? Do you need to eat better? You know, if you, there's, there's, there's no, it's not a magic pill. It's a piece of a puzzle. A pe everything, you know, it's one piece of a puzzle to all of who you are and to all of the journey of where you want to go. Does, does that make sense? So has it been a positive experience? I mean, of course it's been a positive experience. I mean, every feng shui book I've ever read, the, the books about spirituality, the, I have so many things I couldn't even go through in this video that I, and one thing has led to another. Once you look for this, then your Google system is going to suggest that. But you still have to do the work. You still have to follow through on the ideas. You still have to keep going. You still have to work on these personality traits. You still have to work on limiting beliefs. You still have to work on your negative self-dialogue. You understand what I'm saying? Nothing is going to just pop in your life and change it, but things in your life can be reminders of the change that you are pursuing, the change that you are insisting upon bringing about into yourself. That's what they are. Just These are reminders of what you want, what you want to accomplish, and where you want to go with your life. So, I, <clears throat> anyway, sorry. I'm usually not this pumped. <laughs> I just want to thank you so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.